James here on Shelter Food and Beer and today I'm going to be cooking these beautiful beef ribs. A little different with my chip tray. I'm using some bigger chunks of hickory broken down into smaller pieces and then I put some of the small chips in there. That way I get some good smoke and it burns for a long time. So first thing I gotta do is get these in the smoker and warm it up. Let's see if that membrane's there. I make sure I take this membrane off before I get started. You can get in there with your finger and grab it. If you have any problems holding on to it, you can use a paper towel, but this is coming off really easy. I'm going to add some of this Mexican hot sauce on it. Not a, not a whole lot. Just uh, enough to give it a little tang and um, help your rub stick to the meat a little better. I'm going to need a little more. These are big ribs. You could use any wet rub that you, which, which you like, hot sauce or anything that you like. Or you can even use oil or not even at all but i i just like this because it has that tang to it gives it a little bit of heat and a nice barbecue smell before you even put it on the smoker beef ribs are about as easy as can be you know no reason to make it complicated so i put a little coarse salt on it a little ground pepper and then I'll put some honey hog barbecue dry rub out of my collection of uh, meat church let's tap that in uh, I have to wash that bottle <laughs> okay turn it back over repeat on the other side that thing's loaded so with all this seasoning and the uh, hickory smoke slow cooking six to eight hours you know it's gonna be awesome and it's low maintenance I don't have to do anything but stick it in there and let it cook you want to cook it with the bone side down that protects the meat a little bit from the heat and uh, and the fat on the top renders through. Excellent, let's get these going. This is about as basic as you get for an electric smoker. It just has a little plug-in element at the bottom and a temperature adjustment knob on the on the top there. I, I crank that up at first to bring it up to temperatures. Open the door, step back for hot air or smoke all the time. I got my my mother chunk of wood there and my wood over here lifted it up from from the elements a little bit because this is going to be a long smoke I will stick them right in like this close the door and that's it that's the way I like to cook the beef ribs I just leave them alone for the duration just make sure I spritz them with some apple juice or water if you like every once in a while to keep the ends from drying out and stuff like that it's been only two hours since I put these in and the temperature I'm rolling right at about 190 200 okay I might turn that down a little bit I'm gonna give them a first peek and I'm gonna spray them with my secret sauce right here a little secret about my secret sauce is it's apple juice and whiskey and the secret is it's whiskey I put whiskey in there because it's whiskey Yum. okay open her up there is smoke rolling out of here they look great Close it up, see you in a couple hours. Six and a half hours into this, and I go to check them, and they've got.
gotten really rich in color and everything but I'm not necessarily looking for the temperature I'm looking for the tenderness and I stick this in here and it just is going right through a little a little firmer here at the end these are about an hour away let them go another hour give them a little another little squirt see how you can see they're just slow smoking some of that juice from the ribs have dripped down there giving a little more flavor everybody's working outside today Zeke's mowing his lawn so I'm taking these bad boys out That looks pretty good, huh? Take him out, let him rest for a half hour or so. And my wife's working on some homemade JoJo's. And I'm going to have a cold beer. Six and a half hours, low effort, smoked ribs. Just smoked them low and slow. Just wait till they got tender. They're pretty tender. And I'm not saucing them. I'm just eating them how they are. Mmm. Very tender, juicy. With a nice, subtle smoke flavor. I'm a big fan of the beef, beef rib. And this is why. Mm. Those are excellent. I normally only eat one or two ribs when I have a meal like that, but I stopped at four. I could have ate the whole thing, but I've got a cookie and beer pairing to go to. So, adios. Thanks for watching. Shelter food and beer. Love those ribs.